Wait, let me fix my hair before recording in progress. I know, right? That's at your last part. Thank you. That's a long down, or keep it, whatever. I know, right? All right. Well, welcome to um, today's Parks and Trails Committee meeting um, of October. Um, and I need to ask Dana, did we meet in July or was June our last time? Did not meet in July. Right? So we didn't meet July, August, or September? So that's possible. Oh, wait. So is there still a reason to have this committee? That's what I'm trying to figure out because <laughs> I like it. Oh, he has July 10th. That was the meeting July. that I almost passed that's out. That's why I got hallway. volunteered for root beer floats. And that too. Oh, that was that meeting that you passed out at Katie. I know. I couldn't. It <laughs> was a hot, hot, hot day. I couldn't even like talk because we couldn't be so down warm. here. You're right. And I did, I should have, I think I sent them. I'm always when I always like to start to for the same night. Did you get them? I, I think I have the draft minutes, but they have. So we need to be approved. Okay, so that, so June was already approved that day. So on our agenda, that should be July 10th being approved today. And I make a motion to approve July and Lance can I have that handy paperback. Careful. <laughs> I disintegrate on this way over. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, good. That did reach July. Well, July seems a lot ago now. Now that you say that, because I remember when you were you were half not with us. <laughs> Ever. Um, when I was real crabby. You no, know, I'm like, how much longer? We're sitting at a table for. And one of us was really crabby. I, I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it. We made it. All right. Um, I always uh, admit when I misbehave. Aww. No, you no. Oh, you we, all, we all get to be crabby once. Was there a second? All right. I'll second. Justin, fantastic. Okay. All in favor of accepting the July minutes, say aye. Aye. Opposing right. sign. Motion carries. When was I supposed to say discussion? Voted? There's no discussion. Good. Let's just. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um. I'm sorry. Yes. What would you like to share? Oh, yes. Chair. We have a quorum, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Because okay. Lance doesn't want to be counted, but we count him anyway. But really, it's only three that we need, so we have four. Okay. So. And who is missing that? I know I've asked. The actually, speakers. not really I'm anyone. Missing, yeah. Actually, I'll hear it except is. for Rylan. Rylan's not on the committee anymore, Katie. Yeah, and Rylan's not on the committee anymore. So you have four members? Yes. Well, no. We have one, two, three, four. We Ron count him for five. Ron lives I, in the township. That's official. But if you, if you're, if you're, we need three. So what does three mean when we need three to have a quorum? Does that mean we have five official members? Because if we have four official members and we only have three, then it's bad. But today we're good. No, if you have four official members, three, three could still count as four. Oh, for real? Yeah, real. Okay. For real. All right. Well, then. All right. Um, Don, would you like to, what do you think of the agenda, everyone? Did the agenda look good? I didn't see it. As far as, I, I mean, I saw it for a minute, but. Right. Uh, can we talk about the, the dedicating a trail? Yes, let's make sure that gets discussed. And that's included, un, included under River Park. Okay. 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 Lands. Mountains you had. You said it's on. Well, not for River Park. It's under. Oh, it's under Garden Park. Yeah. But we're switching it to River Park. Oh, it's already here. It's under Garden Park. Yeah, it's, it's, it shouldn't be under Garden Park. It should be under River Park. Because you're actually, and you're even referring to a trail that's not even managed by us. It's managed by Justin Bokia. Or are you referring to the one that's close to Garden Park? No, oh, wait, I'm... River Park's way over by you. Yeah, you're confused. I am. So I originally mentioned, well, let's talk about when we get to the agenda. That sounds so good. Well, except that you need to add it to the agenda if it's not on the agenda. Yeah, she well, did. It just it switched from Garden Park to I mean, yeah, Garden Park to River Park is the okay. only difference. It, and were you trying to ask me something? Because you started out saying Dom, and then you said everybody. Was there something you were going to say? 
I was going to have you move to approve the agenda, but we oh. had something to add. Okay, okay, okay. I'll second. I'll second that move. Great. So we're going to have Don move for the agenda after we've added stuff. And Dana, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. All right. Fantastic. Um. Cool. So. Ryland sent me an update on Minda, but not much about the Zumber Water Trail. Sunny or Dana, do you know anything about the Zumber Water Trail right now? Nope, we got the same email you did. Right, so we just we just got Minda stuff. Right? Okay. The Zumber Water Trail, um, we're waiting. Remember, um, we submitted that grant. We appeared before the LCCMR mm -hmm. and did that presentation and because they recommended us for approval. And now we're kind of waiting until after the first of the year um, for them to see if see if we get in the in the money pot. So, so they so we're waiting on them until they'll they'll know after January the first. They have to go through their their, their process of thing. yeah reading things. So and then they'll notify us. Uh, one way or the other. Right. We're probably not going to notify them. Right. Well, no, no. Whether we get it or not. They'll be notifying us. Yeah. That's the way that I've, I've been involved for the LCCMR grants before. So. They like our idea. No money yet. Right. <laughs> money decision comes later, right. Right? right? In other words, they haven't stopped talking to us yet. <laughs> And, and would that money be available in 2024 or 2025? It'd be in the 24-26 biennium budget. Yeah. That would start in January or no? No. Why? You, well, you can never start these projects until you have an executed agreement. Okay. Um, you do so um, at your own risk and own value. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Under penalty of law. <laughs> all right. And then in the city council minutes, I feel like all I saw was something in there about porta potties, because that's actually as far back as April. That's online. Um, anything happening with parks recently? For no, city just, council? Just those kind of updates on, on projects thus far. Yeah. Have, no city council stuff. We've had break-ins. We can get to. I get to each park. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Um. I apologize, but in my opinion, what I read about the update on any DOT news near Highway 52, it felt like we're still waiting. Except for they made it sound like we're going to have to pay them. Is that what you gathered from your end of August meeting we weren't going to be able to just be given the land or anything like that right no and i did ask the question okay so are you talking market value back when we had thought we had this agreement or are you talking market value and, and the current the, the agreement had been in 2010 um the email understanding i'll say oh there, there you go no any agreement executed or anything and then they did make a comment. There were two comments in there about the fact that regular people really wouldn't be able to access the land, but MnDOT would still need to access it for maintenance. And so that might affect the value of the land. Would you agree? That's kind of a, yeah. Well, and I don't, I don't know who else it would benefit, right? It says that you can't access it, which can decrease. Like yeah. anybody else who would have purchased it couldn't access it, but MinDOT would have to um, maintain some sort of roadway right away for purposes such as room for maintenance activities related to roadway and structures. That sounds like they want want the land and so uh, keep it. Yeah, it'd be if it's would it be public land? No, no, no. We're talking. It was asked. That was a question. That was an answer to a question based on land value, and they're saying. That it will be based on today's value, but they would con but they would take into consideration that today's value, um, you you wouldn't have highway access. 
so that should technically decrease the land value. Meaning for the us, co the, the cost for us. To the, you mean by by car, access to the right. highway by car. Well, right. we wouldn't want it. Correct, but so I'm just saying, they're just saying land value. You right. usually generally take all sorts of things into consideration and that's one of the things that would decrease the value. I see. So do they have it appraised then or how do they, how do they decide that? Because that's usually public lands that are transferred or go through some kind of appraisal process. Right, and that's where, I, I believe that's where it's at with the PNR right now yeah. is they're doing their thing and yeah, they're going to initiate a land conveyance request and state ability to pay for highway with, right, sorry, it's hard to read and it's in red, right away fencing. And they will follow up with Orinoco the next month for direction on the direction for land conveyance. Next month, and that was written in? This is Ryland's message today. Oh, okay. So November. So that was their August meeting. Here's the meeting minutes. Here's the notes I took at our August meeting. So there's a young lady, I don't know if she's young, but everyone's young to me. Her name is Heather from MnDOT. And, and she's the one that was filling us in as to what, what they talked about at the end of August. And then they kept referring to D6, which is not a human, that's a district. Yeah. It's really six. weird to read it. Like D6 says this, I'm like, but anyway, so. Um, so we're still kind of waiting to see, but we are approaching MnDOT versus them approaching us. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, I thought that was how we're, we're set up first. Because we're looking to get a connection between, okay, perfect. All right. We're trying to pick up where we left off. Yeah. Before okay. great time. So this okay. land, like, they basically have said the land swap for fencing, like the kind of a proposed, is not okay. legal. And they would, they wouldn't want us developing anything near that land without a fence by the highway. They, they don't, don't even want us to. It sounds like well, yeah. They might not even want us. So to. yeah, we can request a conveyance of land from MnDOT. This land would be sold at fair market value, and then that's what the discussion talked about. Market value from now or market value from early 2010s when we discussed it. So, perfect. We're still working on that. I vote for 2010. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, right? Same. Uh, oh, Heather Luke's. Yeah, Heather Luke's going. Uh, Do you know her? No, nope, that was just the. Whoa, what is it all that redness on there? The email we got? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I know it's hard to. <laughs> So are we good on that for today? Well, do you feel like that's a motion study that we need to make then to move ahead with that land conveyance or what to request? Well, well we maybe can't move ahead until we know the details. Know the amount. Or do we do we say something let's continue well, we have investigating? To... Right. Yeah, we all we are is advisory, so yeah, that's right. So, but right, you but, but we make a recommendation and then we bring it to council. Like that's how we until, until we have whatever the agreement that they're proposing is, then we can't really make an make any kind of an assessment as to what we agree to. And is this like I think they're looking for direction from us. Like, can can someone explain a land conveyance to me? Because I was going to say a conveyance does not sound like a purchase, right? It more sounds like it sounds like they want to train it be transferring the land, right, from from the one en entity to the other. And that that would make sense if there's no dollars involved. I, I'm for that. So. Right. It's conveyances is, is when you're transferring title from in this case DNR to the city. Now DNR or DOT? Oh. I think DOT is it DOT? Yeah, that's part of the isn't it next to the right of way? Yeah. yeah. But then when it says it would be sold at fair market value, like you're saying we would want, how do we find that? Well, that's, well, well that, that's up to their appraisal. Yeah, their DOT has their own appraisers. But it's not like they can sell it to a private party either, right? Exactly. So it's complicated. So it's not like a lot of competition. But I think, um, if I may suggest, I think 
this group has made it clear to council that you want them to pursue um, getting this land if we can. So I, I think, in my view, I think you've done what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of out of your hands. The council point. has the final decision. Yeah. So until they come back with a proposal, a number, an appraisal, a I agree with Sonny. I think that's exactly what the process should follow. So a piece of wrong right there. Um, is that the that one? That's the one we already have. Piece of wrong right there that we're talking about. That's county land. That's that's on the west west side of the river. Oh, okay. So that's that's county land. I thought it was. I heard it called the peninsula in a previous. Oh, meeting. that would be this piece right here, because that's where there used to be houses. Yes. On yeah. that before the highway was yeah. was extended on the other. Okay. Other. Yeah. So it's just that little it's piece there. That little was that part right. of the lake. It's, Aren't there two or three? It, it right. used to be lake, and now it's, it's, it's right. peninsula. Well, that that little peninsula <laughs> it was actually high land, and there were actually oh, houses yeah, out there, there a few houses before they re redid the highway. All right. So hopefully by November. Well, he told them November 9th. I have November 6th for the county. No, I do have it. Dyslexic. Right. Our next meeting will be November 6th. I thought I saw something about November 9th in the MinDOT email, but maybe not. Anyway, just keep figuring this out. All right. Um. Dana, I've been kind of out of it for age friendly or an uncle. Is there any anything to add for that? We've been designated, I believe, but with AARP or with someone else? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, we have been quite a long time ago. We got finally got our picture taken, Rylan and I, with Jay Hopalon because we were at um, um event in Orinoco to live for, in person. They had their first date. Age friendly Minnesota meeting and Orinoco People's Club hosted one of the eight local local in person meetings. So that was kind of nice. Um, anyway, and Rosemary was there too. But no, no, no parks news. We're um, still in the process of planning. So who ran this thing at People's Club? Jay Hopla, um, the area. Our area. Like, was it? For regular citizens too, or just people involved with anybody? Or that was, was the speaker. Was Jay the speaker? It was a work session, so we had oh. a little bit of a we had a little bit of a um, we had a little bit of a like uh, presentation by pre pre recorded presentations, like, and then we broke off into sections, and it was really nice. There was quite a few people from. Ornoco in the township, and then that I had never met before, and then there were nice Rochester people from Northfield. It was a you know it was like area. a giant area. So yeah, so we just sat and did some brainstorming to solve the world's problems, right? <laughs> and what month was that? That was last week. Well, there we go. See, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, last week, fantastic. All right. So I look for you in the paper on Wednesday or next week? Uh, I know, right? Well, <laughs> okay. Um, and then, Sunny, do you feel like we're still just kind of resting on that DNR grant for EAB? Or have we bought what we're supposed to buy, buy or have we gotten our money? Or what What are we doing on that? When, when, let me look at Lance for that one. When do we plant trees? Will uh, it be this month? Kane talked about fall, but I don't know. I'm not going to be around, so uh, it's up to him if he wants to shop for trees. That's fine. We got till we got till next summer. So is this? Is, I mean, after the last few rainfalls, we've gotten some moisture, but do you think it's still too dry to plant trees, or doesn't that matter too much? It'd have to be watered regardless. So, and how many are we looking at? Well, I think that's okay. what I put in the grant. All right. All that Orinoco Park? No. 
or summit. I can't remember what I had for breakfast, so don't ask That's me. That's fair. That's fair. Three years ago. <laughs> so we're kind of leaving it up to Kane, though, right? Is that what well, I'm hearing? Well, yeah. I mean, he's. I I spoke to Kane on the street one day about. I like that. Know, well, he was. Yeah, he was. He was dealing, on your street. dealing with sewer stuff. Yeah, so, he was in your neighborhood. So I stopped by and I just said, "Well, you know, asked he asked about plant, planting trees, and I said, well, whatever you want to do, just let me know. I'm available whenever, but it's just not this month." Yes. Okay. There's there's an opportune time window for planting. Yeah, right? it's, and yeah. In in the fall, it's you know October is good because then you can get them watered and they get. Uh, soaked and frozen in for winter. Um, otherwise, it, you know, we can do them in the, in the spring too, so. All right, so we're gonna move on to that. Okay, so Don and I had made an effort to get some plants in the ground over here. Don, is it on your radar to collect the mother of thousands cactus that is successful in those pots and bring them back to Miss Angie? Or Before it frosts, yes. Right, mm -hmm. right. They, they handled that. Note. Yep. Right, they handled that forty-nine degrees. Okay. So I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, they might be able to handle frost, but um, I should probably just do it ASAP. So that means that some of those things will be bare. Some of the planters will be bare. No, because they're. The succulents, I don't believe they really thrived, like except for those two plants that I just saw tonight. What do you think about the succulents that are in the pots right over here? I don't know my succulents from anything else. I'll yes, ask. you do. Oh, you I said you knew some. Someone told me that um, those mother of thousands, you can keep inside. So I was thinking that I, you know, if, if, you, if they have no other home to go to, um, we could put them inside. They they are not ours. They were on loan um, okay. for summer recess um, from a from a uh, I just call her a school teacher at a place in Pine Island who does classes with plants. Okay. And then these there were like she had hundreds left over. Didn't really know what to do with them, but she's going to have additional classes. But I would think they could go inside until she says she wants them. So um, I can get. Well, do you want some inside? I mean, I. I'm happy to bring okay. green into the sure. Why don't you, um, or why don't I meet with you tomorrow sometime so we can figure out, and um, I'll ask her if she wants them back now or, okay, sounds good. And it, it's Angie who's got Miss Angie's place up in okay. um, uh, Pine Island. We just offered, because we were talking about planters and a lot was going on, we said, how about we use some of the succulents in the planters? And everybody said yes. So, But now it's October. And... I don't know how many survived the other pots, but the mother of thousands looks amazing. So. The ones that you fit in the big pot behind the barn or whatever yeah, at your is, house is yeah. huge. Yeah, and um, happy? there's a few things that did live, including one of those. It's a, it's a little native um, ground cover, which is just flowing down the side. And you know, most people would say that little ground covers are weed, but it's just lovely. It's cascading. Oh, wow. I should take a picture. Yes, please. But I, I don't touch it because you know I it probably would I I kill plants. That's what I do. So. <laughs> I literally put a pot. So I had this pot on her sidewalk. And then, and then I had two of them. And then the next day I came by and most of it was dug out. So I found a Menards bucket. And so then I put the pot on the Menards bucket. Mm. And then those plants survived. So it's exciting. And during gold rush, right during during gold rush, I had COVID. I felt awful. And then all of a sudden people descended on my yard and were driving over things in my driveway. I didn't have a chance to move them. I was horrible and terrible to everybody. Well, yeah. Uh-oh. So I won't um, tell anyway, the school teacher I know you or what? Uh, no, anyway. So I, um, after a few days, I apologized to the people who, who were on that site. And one of them left me um, a lovely planter. So that plant is now on a lovely planter that she left. Oh. Um, I think they felt badly that um, we who have people on our land are given any access to, you know, because I have stuff broken, I have stuff, people tromping through, um, et cetera, et cetera. And they, they were very nice. Anyway, so it's now on a beautiful plant stand. Why are, they, why are they tromping through? They should only have the first. Situation. You should ask them. The people that were shopping. Uh or some somebody drove into my driveway. It wasn't one of these people. Ran over stuff in my driveway. 
and then they weren't going to do anything. And this is what I wondered. They didn't. So one of the when when I came out and for a variety of reasons, I, I was sick. Um, I was not pleasant. And what they what the lady felt so bad for me, she went over apparently to this lady and said to her, you need to pay her for the damage. So this is just hilarious. She, this lady does walk out to me two or three days later and as I'm outside and she says, um, I hear you own the stuff that I damaged in the driveway. It's like, yep. And she said, well, can I pay you for it? I said, sure. She said, how much? I said, 50. It was plastic, a, a container and some native, quite a few native plants, that's my business. And um, she's like, how about 25? <laughs> oh my God, you <laughs> like, oh, so Look, I have COVID. I've already reported the damage. Uh, you can either pay me 50 or not. I don't care. And she said, well, let me check with my husband. And just as I walked past again, she handed me 50. But, but, the, but the person I, call, I let somebody know, um, this is not the Gold committee. Rush committee. Gold Rush Committee. And they responded back, yeah, those people are really honest. They weren't honest. She, she was badgered to pay me because she, this lady knew how sick and upset and how disturbed we are when you know anyway so my point is i don't have one but i i you don't did, have a point wait what well i mean i don't i don't know why i'm saying this to here but it's really it's really frustrating well because the i think the gold rush committee thinks that everybody is angelic and they're not oh right. they are so many people <laughs> oh, say oh john we're more than aware. Okay, well, I don't so, know. I don't well, know. That if, plans would know. Like if somebody listen, drives over your, but I'm pretty sure if somebody drives over my property and damages it, the gold rush committee is not going to do anything. So their well, response is so this was never brought to the committee. Just so you know, we never I, heard. I did report it. Well, did. you reported it to our employee. We have one employee in that, and then it never got passed on to the committee. Is what I'm telling you. Okay. So, so well, you can we can talk about this at a different time because that is interesting. Uh, that I never did get passed on to us. So anyway, okay. So I don't know why I, I digress. But we were talking about plants and somebody running over my plants. I was not pleased. Plus with COVID, which was which actually was and like weaponized. It's like if you want to keep talking to me and I'm bargaining, I do have COVID. I, I I drove by the other day out here and there is movement on that sign, isn't there? It's gone. The sign is gone. No, I'll tell you. The tell update. us what's happening over there. Because, so, you the know, that's part of the master gardener the part. The electronic okay. message board. Yeah. Um, supporting poster in the ground um, installations October 17th. Okay. Because that was an area that Don and um, Vivian had worked on this summer. Granted, mostly, Vivian mostly got Vivian. super distracted. Um, mostly Vivian. Right. Um. But some of some of the plants might survive the sign installation. I have what? Well, to you. me, I have no it's clue. Whole, well, I, I can probably help with that. Um, there's quite a few um, uh, spreading flocks which sur should survive as long as it's not covered. Okay. Um, there's a few echinacea which should come out in any case because there's not enough sunlight there, and there's quite a few columbine which should do fine. But I thought there was a pile of dirt. There's a pile there. of dirt on top of so it. So that will kill whatever's. Yeah. If that stays there. It's been there for a while, I think. But yeah. that whatever's underneath that will die. But I it, is that is that little bed going to stay like that? Well, that's what I don't know. Well, yeah, it sort of doesn't make any sense to leave the planter there. I mean, I built that. Right, but I can't even remember when it was. Yeah, it's just, 30 years ago, yeah. probably. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if, I mean, if we're going to keep it, then those plants can stay there because, like, the flocks will just be fine. Yeah, but it doesn't have to stay there if it's if it's superfluous. Well, like, are we having any plants by the sign that's going to be by Tilly's? Like, because there's a sign by Tilly's that's going to match the sign that's over here. Yeah. So. So we'll see. It's more so, in the park, right? Sort of. It's by the intersection, kind of. Yeah. So what are you suggesting? That they should match, but we won't. Yeah. I, I don't about that. Well, for then, a long I, time. then I'd say take the take the planter out and just get rid of it. But, oh, instead of having a from, planter across the way. Well, yes. from my experience this summer, which I haven't, and also by the way, around the building on the south and west sides, I put in some native plants, which are just tiny now, but they should like butterfly weed, and they should be very tough and hardy and grow and flower without any very little maintenance, ideally, that's the plan. 
Um, but I would say the master net, the master gardener program does not work. Right. And I, I don't Vivian think right now. I don't think it's well, I think it always has been. And she and I talked early on. Oh, and a lot of well are not. Are oh. not, yeah. I, I would say I'm not quite sure why she wants to do what she does because she doesn't want to do it. She's got too many things in the fire, so she shouldn't she shouldn't be taking on anything. Oh, right. I she seemed to, I mean I I bought a few plants and they sat for a long time and it's like I didn't need to buy any plant. Know, anyway, she seems like she says yes to things and volunteers to do things that she's not gonna do. Exactly. I've never met her. I've talked to her on the phone. She sounds wonderful, but it's really frustrating. Yeah. I was watering stuff that I did not want to be watering because she said she she water it and she didn't. And it's like that's worse she, than having somebody not watering. She travels a lot, so she shouldn't be taken on. And, so and she's been is it her brother or brother in law she's helping right now too that's sick. Brother-in-law died. So he did pass? Yeah. So we can maybe just take it off the agenda from going I forward. I think that's a really good idea. So, yeah, it, until we hear anything else, we need to so just it it it. let's just I, not, let's not yeah. hear anything else. Let's well, I think take it off. a year ago I when this, you, yeah. you, before she got involved again, I think you said, I said, oh, I'll just put in natives and, you know, what happens, happens. Then she got involved, and I don't think anyone wanted to tell her no, thank you. Sure. So I think somebody well, needs at some point. Okay, I'll tell her to put their <laughs> big pants on, and it won't be me to say we, okay. no, thank you. I, I, I've known her for 25, 28 years, so I can tell her. Well, Lance was brilliant. Vivian and I, Vivian and I were here to plant stuff, and we thought we were going to be planting on cement. So Lance graciously gave us what two bags of compost or something. So we got some nice dirt to put on that stuff. That I don't know <laughs> what will come up, but <laughs> but um so anyway, okay. The Alice Park planters may, may, before we go on, if yeah. it's because I have extra native plants here and there, if it's okay, I'll just keep putting in native plants around and um it shouldn't require it's eventually it won't require okay. watering or so the only the only thing the think about, and Dana, correct me if I'm wrong, when Vivian and I were there to plant the native plants, that big bundle, we chose to stay in between those two planters in case, where are the lots supposed to be for gold rush? Because she was thinking that in the past, people would stack stuff up by the building, but they're not, they're not supposed, supposed to, to anymore. They weren't even, right? they weren't even close. So exactly. it's okay if we put plants in there because they're not supposed to be on there anyway, right? They they weren't even close. I I don't set up gold rush. So. I was I was there. They're they're longtime vendors and and you're right. They did used to put stuff there, but now they're no longer. We all are under the same agreement that they don't anymore. Okay, perfect. So plant away. And I talked to Cade, and he's like plant away. Yeah. So if, as long as everybody is. Uh, um, what about the Alice Park planters? Did those have any succulents? Has anyone gone to look? You'd have to ask what's your name, the master guardian. Could you if you if you're feeling the ownership of those plants for Miss Angie, are you willing to go down there and look? Sure. Okay, thank you. All right. Lance, have you looked at planters down there lately? Not once. Not once. Yeah, me either. <laughs> All right, but Lance and Dawn, it's and just so far. Who who helped you pull garlic mustard? I know Lance I know did it by himself. Well, I, Dana, I did it on my own. Yeah, yeah. right. So but you did it all the time. You and me and Pat. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just walked through planting quite yeah. okay corns, and there, I found two or three patches again that I hadn't seen before. So I I've got to keep on top of that next spring. Well, I think that I, I just think we should make it an annual spring event. It's a good idea. Yeah. Well, in this year, because it happened, I think, at an open house for something else, that yeah, you're right. There was we had very idea. few, and I think you helped out after the fact okay, because you were after. so that was perfect. But it'd be nice if we would have not it went a, better the first year when we had a lot more people that not when well, we weren't in competition with something else. And yeah, which is super hard right now because we do have a lot of time. Yeah, but did you say that you're planting aprons? Or you distribute them like you just like, them. Them. like you dig a hole and put them in there. That's awesome, Lance. Okay, want any walnuts? I, absolutely not. <laughs> He's going okay. to do a fine job. 
right? Okay. It was a great year for white oak acorns. So that so I, I picked up a couple of cans full and oh, planted nice. 40 or 50. Nice. Yes. Around. Do you put more than one acorn in the hook? <clears throat> okay. I love it. I love it. Do you use a measure? Do you use it? I, I do. Oh, I do have, you really? I, I have I have a dandelion puller thing and stick. You know, it's got a little yeah. fork in the end, and it, it's like a dibble, I guess. Okay. And you jam it in the ground. It goes down about four inches, and then you play like drop the drop the clothespin in the bottle, <laughs> and you drop the acorn in the hole, and you pack it. No, it's well. <laughs> and then see how many of the squirrels dig them out. Well, last year I planted butternuts, so I. Oh, that's butternut. so good! Oh, wow. So well, Gordy Hall has, Gordy and Jackie Hall have one by their house, their mm -hmm. garage, and it's going to be dead by next year. But so last year I got, I don't know, a, a small container and I planted 10 or 10 or a dozen or so. Did they work? Oh, okay. Because well, that's cool. I marked them, but they didn't see anything because yeah. the, the pen sedge gets so tall that you can't even see her in, in there. So. Wow. Because they're dying. The butternuts are like dying out. They are. Yeah. Shoots. They're on the endangered species thank list. Now. Thank you for, for on behalf of you know, squirrels and critters. <laughs> uh, um, Can I ask a question? Yes. I'm sorry. Sure. So if you oh. want to make this an annual event, is there a good time or best time to Early to put before. it on the calendar so it, sh it should be before the first of june so anytime or, or probably in may is this is something we'll do in different parks because this would this next year would be our third year in alice and well, it's still yeah, it's, it would be good to um do it the the viability of the seeds is maybe like five years so it should be decreasing very rapidly at this point but we need to um i mean we could have more than one day but i'm guessing most of us can only need to vote one day but it's, you know, it's, we, we, we probably just need to have a little walk through of the other parks, to, at least Orinoco Park and River Park, to make sure and see if there's any populations that have shown up here. You know what it looks like now, and you walk Orinoco Park. No, nope. my, my right brain now. cannot retain that information. <laughs> oh, I wish walked, it could. I wish it could. It doesn't. Somebody though. walked down the trail. On the River Park Trail that connects to Cedar Woodlands and marked a lot of trees. Those have been marked all year. Have they been? Yep. Okay. He marked them. They Maybe marked them at the beginning of the year, and I don't remember what for. Oh, I think it was a lot of buckboards. No, and I want to say they came through and they got rid of a bunch of stuff early on, and then they just remember. Stopped. Yeah. We walked it well last last week, and it's definitely opened up a lot. Yeah. So they did. They they definitely in, increased the. Or yeah. decreased the uh, amount decreased of plants. Yeah, trail. I mean, the, 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 plants, the shoulder. The shoulder. The increase the shoulder. Yeah, I walk it every day, so I'm really appreciative of it when it's um when it's not touching you when you walk by. It's nice yeah, to have it a little bit more maintained. For those of you that were able to attend music in the park, it sounded like the last one was the best attended, or maybe not. No, second to last. Second to last, so the middle one was the best. And I had no idea, but our thought on this was parks would do it this year, and then someone else would do it next year. Is that going to happen? We're hoping like that different. We're hoping that uh, we would get a different sponsor for each concert. Okay, so not necessarily the whole series, but oh, okay. We'll we'll kind of play it by ear, but we would like that so that then you can pass off like the greeting and the refreshments if you chose any. We only had them the one night, uh, and then we have the middle one, right? No, it was the last one. Oh, it was as well attended as the middle one because the middle one was a band from Rochester. Or something? I, they, I think they all are. Oh, but we'll, and then next year of the year, we'll increase our, I think they were all fairly similar in the types of bands. So next week, next year, the. What is the, day. what are they kind of willing to spend on a band? Um, well, we have a budget. What did we put into the budget this year? It's a preliminary budget. Preliminary <laughs> Pulled up, but it's really did not. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
Well, and one of the things that I've heard too is that people really want um, Fourth of July fireworks coming back. Community cleanup. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Where is it? Well, we people could put brush and, and junk out on the curb, and and then the city would hire, well, whatever trash hauler we had would go through and pick it all up, and it costs like that was thousands of dollars. It's like a terrible idea. Haul your, it is a terrible idea. Haul, haul your own brush. Absolutely. Okay. Put it in the back for you. Call junk be gone. That's, right. That's what I do. I have I have a big pile by my garage. They're, November, it's gonna they're gonna come and pick it all up. So. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So what? So what were the, what were those ideas coming from though? Residents. Right. So so it was community clean out. What was the other thing you said? Fireworks. Oh, fireworks. fireworks and anything else. Or is it just those two things so far? And in terms of activity, that would be it. I, you know, there, I know in addition to the three events, music in the park this year, you know, there were other musicians interested to your mm -hmm. point, you know, what can we, um, I think, what did, what did we spend this year it was 1500 I want to say. For the three. For the three. <laughs> Right. That's pretty close to that. Who would we have slotted? I want to say, is this what the recreational activity is, Sunny? 18? Yeah. So, um, but now if it's not parks doing it, it would just be the city. Yeah. <laughs> well, but we that have type it, of organization in the city. We have it under our budget. No, for now, under parks and trails, maybe I don't know. Maybe we can pair up even to increase that. Have somebody co-sponsor. You know what I mean? Something like that. Right. Co-sponsor it. Right. So it's Ron the one that took care of hiring the bands last year. Yeah, he did everything, like he does. Well, I do. <laughs> yeah, you know, band yeah. Yeah. That's my thing. It is. It I is. Had, I had bands played at my house. <gasps> I had a. I had a. We had a band play at a yeah. retirement party for a friend of mine this summer. Okay, just so um so I would I you know I think that's something that could be expanded on. Mm -hmm. Um different in that. different genres. For sure, different genres. We had like when we had were you guys at who who was at um National Night out here? That person was good. Oh, oh, oh. I wanna say Rob. He's local and he does a he does a, he did a nice job. Yeah, he played at Gold Rush too, actually. At the fire home. Uh huh. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so good to know. Yeah, Justin, I think that would be really fantastic. Thank you, Chair of the the uh, entertainment, entertainment committee. committee. <laughs> That's right. I like it. Which would include not not just finding the bands, but also. Well, Sunday Simply, nights, I mean, and also uh, uh, finding the sponsors because we do have other groups besides um, parks that could sponsor. I mean, there are other. I think it was the Legion, do. wasn't it? The Orinoco Legion, or what we called? suggested the Lions Club and then the Lions. I mean, Sundays are not a very busy band, you know, they're not playing bars, they're not playing right. festival. I mean, it's, it's, it's Friday, Saturdays, so. Right. The one so thing though that we did Sunday. know, we did know that Pine Island has their bands on the same night, yep. but I think if we pull from a different yeah. crowd as far as, I think, I think they tend to be similar to the crowds we were drawing last night or last time. So if we tend to go in a different direction, maybe target the population the young population that would be kind of nice not that so research add that to this too <laughs> i don't know what genre you would consider becky schlegel have you seen becky yet she she'd be fun to have i think she's probably pretty spendy but yeah you're right <laughs> yeah it was in your douglas so i keep forgetting to have to look they're busy people over there and are we liking that yeah three or four nights kind of thing 
three or four week uh, Sunday nights, July. Well, and and I don't know, were they all on Sundays last time? And they were just an hour. Yep. Sets. Would you suggest lengthening it, or do you think an hour is perfect? So the bands we've hired have always been like three sets, and you know, three one hour sets. I'm not saying that's what we need to do, but um. I, we spent anywhere from six hundred to a thousand dollars for that amount of time, and when we had have you heard of the Chubs? They're at a, I think they're at a, um, Manorville or Casson, one of my buddy's favorite local bands. We hired them. They played for three hours, and it was it was twelve hundred bucks. We don't need to go three hours, yeah. But an hour, I think you should be able to get a better. You know, I think that four or five hundred dollar range is probably pretty. Reasonable, right. I would think. Or she on a Sunday night. They want some extra cash. I don't know. Make a look into it. I, okay. I, I like this stuff. Yeah. And it depends too on how much equipment they have to set up, right? They so usually like, always provide their own stuff. Yeah. Right. But how how much um, how much time does that take them to set up for just an yeah. hour? Maybe it, yeah. maybe we need to go at least an hour and a half, maybe. maybe. Just yeah. a thought. Do you want to connect with Ryland just to make sure, sure, just to say, hey, we're because I know he was thinking of going a different direction this year for as far as like, or including a bigger variety of bands, okay. um, types of bands. Yeah, and then, I don't know, getting the word out, obviously he's a big one. And, and there's, a, I was contacted by a group for, that live in town. Okay. Um, so I can share that name with you as well. I mean, you know, I mean, that's, that's the kind of fun stuff, right? When yeah. you have talent within your city and we can bring mm -hmm. their followers to our city and expand. Well, even, um, I know you got burned, but uh, Squash Blossom on Sunday nights, mm -hmm. they do, you know, they have a small band usually that plays out there. Mm -hmm. um, just, Which is not very far. No, mm -hmm. not in Douglas. Right. They do pizzas and things. Right. It's, it's cool, but it's just a good way to get the you know families together and Actually, yeah, my boss is in a band. I should ask him what they charge. He's played squash blossom a couple of times. I, I mean, for what I saw for when we did the ice cream thing, they get that was probably more than what we, we got we got this summer. I don't know how that second to last band was. Yeah, it was again. It was a brass band. You know yeah. what I mean? They but yep. they were very but they had vocalists too, and they were it was a they have a bigger following just in general. So we had a larger. I don't I don't know how many. People from Orgoke over there. Mm -hmm. They just have a big following. What was the band called? Classic. Classic Brass? No, Uptown Jazz. Uptown Jazz. The last one was Classic Brass. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be great, Justin. Thanks. Yeah. And obviously, we like it at Orgoke Park. That's the place that makes the most sense. It has that shelter for the band yeah. members and stuff. Yeah. We didn't open the bathrooms, I don't think, but the trails are, there were people riding four wheelers on the trails yeah. during that last concert. What? Yeah. Strange mm. situation. Very strange situation. Mm. Um, what about the previous like bed trails? How were they maintained this summer? Was it good? Was it still a lot of um, picky bushes? Right. Or was it like, did you use it much or didn't you have time to get over there? Have been mm -hmm. not there. Yeah, You've been in a different job, so you're busier. Um, any of us been on the lake bed? <laughs> not since not. the spring. <laughs> right, right. Okay, but, but as far as I know, they're still mowing it and stuff, but they probably don't have to mow it too often. Is there some low spots that you would think need to be filled in with some dirt? Some ankle breakers out there? Oh, there's a lot of ankle breakers. So, I don't know that's something that that's you know, part of hiking. Do. Might break your ankle. <laughs> don't spend any money on it. So, oh, yeah, just so. more every once in a while. Okay, um, we we dropped the ball on a garden plot this summer. There was somebody that that paid for one, but then they didn't get to use it. But I'm pretty sure it's because it's such a mess. Over it there. is a mess. But I do feel bad that Renee was trying to get me to be the one 
to tell them it wasn't going to happen, but I'm hoping Kane said something. But in the books, did we give them their money back? They don't. Or what happened? We did their money. Right? I just feel bad. It took a while, it looked like, from the emails I was seeing tonight. But um, they were cute, though. They were like, or can you just keep my money for next year? So they must be excited to do it. But once that work is done over there, I'm hoping that we can get it back to be. Yeah, I mean, are they gonna are they gonna clean that up and hydroseed it this year, or what are they gonna do? So everything they touched has to be put back to what it was like, except for the yeah, cement. That got to so, you know what? That's the thing to plant the trees that took it minus the trees. <laughs> minus the trees. <laughs> Water things. I wonder if that still works over there. I hope it does. I hope it did get wet or something. There's a water spigot over there. Well, they've not stayed away from that, would they? Nope, so. Well, it's stuck up in the ground for the ground, so. Okay. Oh, they this... stayed away from all the other water stuff, so. Well, not so much, but. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> right? There's a, big, there's a big pile of brush back. I don't know, I think as you walk back and it kind of opened up back there, there's a big pile of brush back there now. Mm -hmm. I think they were doing that on purpose. Uh, right? Are they planning to. And even though it's been talked about for years, are they planning to burn back there or something? Whoever it's was doing the, the sewer project stuff? Yeah, a new, a new it's pile of brush. Yeah. So we got to keep an eye on that. Um, I'm surprised this shelter is open. Considering we locked the park one. But how come this shelter was open this summer? Just because nobody bothered it? The shelter the that's warming, supposed to the warming house? Yeah, the warming house. Why is that unlocked? It's just because it's not getting wrecked, I guess. There are a pair of skates in there, so that's cool. I didn't know. I didn't know it was good launch. So, hmm. I don't know. But Trish had a window put in there for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's not like it's a private building or anything like that, but um, I just was surprised. But if there's no problems, then... Oh, it probably should be locked. Shouldn't it? We don't need that to go start up in flames like everything else around here. So something really burned by Lance and he doesn't know it? What burned by your house? I have no idea. Well, I never saw it. it was, it's the old, the old barn that Irv had back there. Tore down the other one and there was a... Shit. Well, Did his truck maybe? burn up too? Jeez. No, it's still there. Okay. I don't know how, what kind of shape it's in, but... Well, it was never in very good shape. So. So the place right behind your house? So or there is place. If you yeah. go into the if you go to you yeah, know so next to Johnson's. Yeah, so the help from Johnson. It's the he has gardens and this huh. old timey looking barn or old timey barn and a truck. I don't know if it had anything in it, but I don't know. Lots and lots and lots of suspicious activity. I'm surprised they left the old coin cripple on it. So, yeah, drive by. I mean, there's like, maybe if you've never noticed it before, you won't notice it's gone. But. Well, is that the one, is it right off of Minnesota Avenue or not? It's, oh. on, it's on first. It's on first by Alice Park. Yeah, it's up that, yeah. I mean, you can see it from Minnesota. Yeah, I think Avenue. I'm seeing I haven't gone down there just because it, it's been all torn yes. up for three weeks and I just haven't. Yeah. And I, the last time I drove it, I've got a flat tire on my bicycle. Oh. So. Oh. There it is. All right. Okay. So committee, how do we, can we nominate naming a trail um, with someone's name? How does that work? At River Park, it has been suggested that we name a trail after Charlie, I pronounce it Fry. That's right. right. Okay. Because he was, he was the one that really pushed for the hat. Yeah. For the trail you mean? Once, once we got Got the land donated, and he wanted yeah. to see a trail. I think there. when we end, we ended that talk asking if city council would have at least either notify city council or approve or get them at least to be in the loop on that of, yeah, of, yeah. of name, not just this one person, but right. naming as a process. Yeah, yeah, there has to be a process. So, uh, did it? Did we? Did it run past city council, or have we come up with a? process maybe we need to make a motion to that would be well i suppose we'd have to lay out a process but if someone nominates 
honoring someone by naming a trail after them that um, that we, uh, we kind of, I, you know, I could write up a little summary of why he why it was important for yeah. for that to happen. Yeah. I think I, I think also though the um, okay, you know how what kind of values do they exhibit so so that other people would be. Um, also uh, a candidate. I mean, not, not that it needs to be a competition, but so no. somebody else comes along and says, well, I know, or whatever, who so-and-so who's done maybe pretty much the same thing or something kind of different, but at well, least there's a- They better have served 10 or 12 years on the well, it, Parks Committee. No, I'm something. just, yeah, um, I'm just saying it's, or is it only Parks Committee? Yeah, I mean, we have we have that, that honor of uh, Citizen of the Year or something So like that. I was gonna suggest that we go ask so currently there's three people on that committee. I think what we should do is take a page from their book and do the same thing and like once a year call for a I a, mean we're we have a limited number of trails that we can do. Sure, dedicate. and that's true. So, so or we, we just do it one or we just put a call out like yeah. we're doing this for this trail. For this trail, yeah. You know, at this time, please have any nominations in by blah blah blah. Parks committee will vote and decide. Yeah. And it does then go to count like citizen of the year award goes to council, sure. but you're not given that person's name. Sure. We don't know the name of the person. We're just given like candidate A, candidate B, candidate C. And so we would do the same thing. Well, we would know, but then council wouldn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? And who, and who would, for this one, would we, we be selecting or would council be selecting? We'd be selecting and then Even they'd be approving. Know. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'd be approving our selection, basically. Like that's how it is. Maybe it's like we re we recommend it. We recommend candidate A, yeah. and then council is like we agree. Or you know what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. so it'd be it. I think we should basically do it that same way, but just okay. use everybody. So what's so then our next step is because we had a long discussion last time. Our next step then is to quote unquote take a page from. This Arunoko City Citizen. Outstanding Citizen of the Year or something? Okay. And then bring it back here or then just, and then rewrite. Can you give us a, a, a copy page. of that, uh, that process or yep. that whatever they have? For and the criteria they have for? Yeah. We don't have more on the than, website. We don't have more than one nomination, do we? And do we have to? Have more than one nomination no. for that one area? No. Are you talking about parks right now? Or are you talking about trails? Trails. No, we don't have to, but I think like Don is saying. Okay. Or we could it, kick off the inaugural it, one. Like I think the inaugural one out here was for Gordon Caribou. Car Am I saying that right? Gordon. For what? For the, the inaugural outstanding citizen of the year. Well, that was me. I I, I oh. Well, they don't know. They, they, it's they're named it's after, dedicated. It's, it's dedicated, dedicated to them. Yeah. It's dedicated to their memory. But then we, the legend. It's legend. You select a, a the, candidate the, every the year. Legend, the, the, man, the, the man, the legend. The the number one. <laughs> so, and I, and, and the, the man, the myth, the legend. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Not the first. And I, I got to move away. <laughs> 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 You've got to go become a legend. And I'm, I'm only, I mean, well, I, I, after you. <laughs> I think it's a, I, it's a great idea. I'm all for it. I just don't want, if it's not sort of a uh, foreseen policy, it looks like kind of like without being, I'm not trying to be sexist, but like an old boys no, network, of, or old girls yeah. network of like, oh, they get to assign trails when that's not the point. Oh, but the, the, the point is to, to honor somebody that was important in, in, but, or to, developing or, or, or to honor people, people who have been, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's, I'll, I will do that. I will find that out and then yeah. maybe we can. Um, it, it's, it doesn't have to happen until sometime next year. I mean, I yeah. just think if, if it happens at all, but I think it should be something we at least. I'll bring that back at. to the next, I'll bring that to our November meeting. Okay. All right, and then. Everything kind of quiet at Carroll County Park and River Hit Wood Hills Park, uh, and piles Memorial of, Park. Piles of crap. Yeah. So there's piles, piles of crap in Carroll County. Piles of dirt. There is. 
Ohio oh, is there there one? There's there's a Minnesota yeah, code. And I would give you a guideline. So. Yeah. I'm sure there is. This is for the state. Oops. Yeah, yeah that's the state of Minnesota, the but they have there have been piles of dirt overthrown. The whole dog on top. Here we go. Outstanding citizen criteria. Ready? Here. I bet you it has Lance's name on it right there. That's an example. No? Yeah, there's already a, we could just take it from this. Okay. End. Nominees must be a pastor, present resident, must have made a contribution, blah, blah, blah. No committee member may nominate oneself. Current past residents of state staff may nominate individuals. I'll just send this to you guys. Okay. And then we can discuss at the next, and yeah. I think we should bring, by next November, or by November, we should be able to develop a process, like adopt this process with our- And just put a few work parks in there, a couple, you know, if it's if it's limited to influence on parks, then maybe just put in influence on parks and make it kind of our own. Good. Yeah, I think that, I think that's, it should be limited to that. Yeah. Okay. Like influence on parks or something like that, yeah. So, go ahead. Yeah. Well, why, why couldn't you make a recommendation beyond just parks? Because I think we, this is, we're parks and we are, this is what our mission is to take care of the parks. So to be beyond parks would be, it's kind of out of the scope of what we're focused on. Well, parks and trails and. That's it. Parks and trails. If, if if someone wants to, I mean, they can nominate somebody as an outstanding citizen if they're yeah, for, that's different. for a wider no, but that's for the community. Right. This is this is dedicated to parks and trails. Awesome. That's the way I so, see it. So okay, and we have a limited number, right? We only it's not like we have a year every year. It would be a limited number of right. We're not looking for lots of people to apply for this or to, or to be nominated, but but I think it's because we, this is our mission is to sort of enable and celebrate the parks and or and trails and maybe I'm going to throw in the wildlife um, and then on um, public land and that I think is the scope the boundary of what we should be you know if, if somebody's done something amazing but outside that scope I think that's another that's another committee yeah so well and I'm trying to think what other committee would have anything to do with it either I just know we have you know, as staff, we've had conversations and it's been mentioned in other areas as well, developing standards for the city, citywide kind of, and that's where my question is coming okay. from okay. in terms sure. of- A wider of, scope. Yeah, a wider scope in terms of how how do we determine dedications? What's the criteria and stuff? I understand what your point is yeah. here. Yeah. Um, I think we could do a different dedication for if we do ever have benches or equipment, you know, because that's what I think. Well, like, the I mean, Carol, Carol Olson and buying, you know, dedicating a bench to, to David that we put in. He, he bought the bench. Well, she, I'm I saying, understand. I'm saying, if we do a large. Oh, I see. As a as a project, as a committee eventually to yeah. you know put more benches in or put new equipment in, and we dedicate it to somebody. Um, yeah, that may be another. Never the thought because I don't necessarily know if that stuff needs to be the okay. perks related. Yeah, dedication. You know what I mean? I think part. I mean, well, it would be great to have this problem, but it's like you know, if somebody comes along and says, "I want to donate five hundred thousand dollars for parks," is that do they qualify for this, um, or do they qualify? If someone wants to give us five hundred thousand dollars, Don, they can put their name on it, whatever they want. Well, <laughs> they, they, can, um, they can darn well do it. But I'm just saying. But I mean, it may not be that. May not be somebody who sort of has their heart and soul. Community center. I, I'm just saying that that the um, they may have a community center that may be naming rights for something, but something different than contributions from I'll say like uh, uh, passionate contributions for some sure. for a career. Sure. Or, so I'm just saying that there's there's. Well, if, if somebody's going to donate that amount of money, then we ought to be, we ought to hire staff and start having programs for youth. And yeah. I mean, because we used to we used to have we used to have a summer program for kids that was run by three women in in the community, and they did that for four or five years, and then it kind of fizzled out. And 
because yeah. those kids grew up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And nobody else wanted to take it on, so yeah. it, it sort of dies. Then. But they're all great dreams that you know can be re. Yeah. At, evaluated in the future. At Mayo, there's you know there's obviously naming rights for all kinds of buildings, and somebody had donated a lot of money to build a library on the 12th floor of Siemens. And there was a plaque with their picture, a very small picture, and a little bit of text. And I wanted to do a newspaper article about them. And when I wrote to the people in charge of um, gifts and acknowledgments, mm. I said, I, I want to do this. They don't newspaper. want you to talk to them. Well, no, 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 not that. They didn't mind me talking to them, but they um, said they have not given enough. Even though they have an entire floor of Siebens, but which is beautiful. They haven't given enough to have even more than just a plaque for there. So like they very much, not that this is, this is just for entertainment purposes, but if you give an awful lot, you get a plaque this big. If you give a few more millions, you get a plaque this big. And they don't want anybody who's got a plaque this big to get any more than, and it's it's very, they didn't mind me talking to funders because funders enjoyed talking to me, but they didn't want more Sunlight on them, then they pay for it. <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. So, anyway, not our problem. Okay. okay, so no updates at Carol Cowden, you said, no updates at River Hills. Um, this FYI for you guys, Sunny made me aware tonight that the Arnoco Park bathrooms were broken into this weekend. Last weekend, it was the garage. And you've probably all heard of Shaw Tracy was attempted to be broken into. Uh, the garage meeting over Shaw Tracy, the only downtown business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, well, we have a, now a plumber. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, thanks. Yeah. And then, gosh, I'm missing one. Oh, or the so. fire. Yeah. yeah. The, little, the little matter of the fire. And that did get caught on camera, a, a person in full on black, tiny eye. Well, did you see that? No. And I'm assuming it's Jan's cameras that caught it, but it was all posted on the citizens thing today, but yeah. When you say Jan's cameras, who's that? Gotcha. He's the one that owns the big garage thing up um, by the VFW, behind the, or to the south of the VFW. Is that south? Whatever. And where, where do you live in conjunction to I live west of that building on the other side of the woods, back on the old mail and the other. So you go up past the church go, then? No, no, you go, no, you go up Center Street okay. and then Center Street forks, <laughs> turns into yeah. forks into North Second Avenue Northwest and Sec, Second Avenue Southwest, which is about a hundred feet long there. And then there are, are four houses in the back. There's just been a lot of activity. So there's so on two. camera too. Yeah, because of course they have a security system. Well, you can kind of see that. I mean, I don't I, know yeah, they're not even they're not even trying to cover up who they are. Did they get in? They did not get in. You know what's the matter with me? I would never think. I mean, it didn't even cross my mind to go break in somewhere. Well, you probably don't have some sort of addiction you're trying to feed. Not yet. Not wrong. Well, I was asked once if when when will we know if we're getting to the point where the deer need to be harvested in the city? Not yet, right? Yeah. But they eat all my hosta. I know. So what? So, so what's the yeah? What? So what's the? I mean, we we've, we've had more deer now yeah. than ever we have had ever in the in the last million years. There's always too many deer. So why are we saying there's not enough deer? To, to no, no. Kill, nobody to said they were done up here. Okay, right. right. Well, so what? what we, why at what we... point does the city promote some type of special harvest of the deer in their city? I think that's up to the DNR. Is it even up to a city? No, it's the city can they ask for an assessment. I think the city yeah, they ask for an assessment. Rochester has their own in the parks. Right. Yeah, they started, I think, just last year shooting D or whatever. Yeah. Do you hear many complaints in the office or not yet? Right. Okay. There's, how, there's... how is it the city's problem that there's too many deer? That's what I don't get. Well, but I've you... never heard anybody complain. But, well, do we have, um, what do you call it, when you can, like in Rochester, if you've got somebody who, on private land in Rochester and they you have permission from the people within 600 feet and they all say yes, then you can harvest deer. Not in the city limits of 
Well, but I'm asking, that's in Rochester. So right. why wouldn't they do that here? I've only heard that you can kill deer in self-defense. Okay. What? So, <laughs> so self-defense. Okay, yeah. but then, then do we, I mean, is this, there's always too many deer and they're, they're very bad on diversity in, in habitat. So, yeah. So why wouldn't the city have? I'm not keen on people walking around my city and shooting at things. Well, well what no, are archery I mean, in defined areas? Hunting, but. Well, hunting in defined areas. Or maybe in parks or something? I don't know. But if it's not on your land. I think we leave it up to the township to control their deer, deer population because that's really where they're coming from. Oh, and fancy. I also I also make motion future. I agree. I like it. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry, well, go Thank you. Not on the agenda. Bring it to the next one. Um, I make a motion to I I second her motion. So eight to twenty is when we can leave. I just all right. attention. They don't have to do it. Like, like, give me your word. <laughs> Would you agree? Do we have the twenty called an oak twig in Minnesota? That looks like something in Maine. Well, I don't know if you saw those pictures of just a little bit of branches that are getting plucked off. Maybe come bad cowboys. And I know branches of my trees. But again, I think just because to get the acorns on the ground, the bush is bringing it down. It's all your lawn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's what I was responding to. No, I was just curious because I never. But like you said, the acorns are good this year. Constantly sniffing on. You don't want to touch on that.